Hey, this is Jamal from GospelMusicians.com, and I get this uh, message probably every day right now, <laughs> and it's, it's, it's funny, but um, every day I get this message, Jamal, I have GarageBand, I can't use your contact in GarageBand, I can't use it in GarageBand, can you make it for GarageBand please? All right, uh, a little message about GarageBand, GarageBand can load VST instruments, that's the cool thing about GarageBand. It can load VST instruments. If it can load VST instruments, then you can load contact. You can load it. And I'm going to show you how to do it once and for all. All right. So you just bought Neo Soul Keys. All right. You trusted me that I said you can use it with GarageBand. You just bought Neo Soul Keys. All right. So you got Neo Soul Keys. You installed contact. You went through all the native instruments, service center, all the stuff in the getting started video. You just loaded uh, Garage. You just loaded um, Neo So Keys. Everything's loaded. All right. So you want to see it working? Here is GarageBand right here. Uh, here's a track. Here's a um, a regular instrument track. All right. So most people, why they get confused? They keep looking around this browse area, and it's like I don't see Neo So Keys. I don't see Contact. You're right. You got to go over to this Edit right here. You click on your Edit. And right around here, you go to, it's going to show piano, but if you click here, here's all your GarageBand modules. If you go down here, here's all of your VST instruments that you have installed. And right around here, whoa, look at that, Contact 5, Contact 4. Let's click Contact 5. All right. And we have Contact 5. All right. So we got Contact 5 loaded up. All right. So that they're like, okay, I got Contact 5 loaded up. How do I see how to adjust this? All right. So what we do. All right. Well, let's wait. All right. What I did to get that, I double clicked on it. All right. Let me show you again. So, all right. Let me show you again. I'm in Browse. I went to Edit. I go through here, let's choose contact four instead, all right? You wait till that's done and you click, double click here, and there you go. Now you see a version of Neo Soul Keys right here using contact four, contact five plugins right here. You can use any BST plugin. That's the cool thing. If you already got GarageBand, you don't have to go out and buy Logic. You don't have to go out and buy FL Studio. You don't have to go out and buy Cubase. Your GarageBand already has it, fellas. Be excited. Be excited. All right. Contact five. Once again, you're messing up because you keep looking here. You're looking for it. Well, I don't see it. I don't see where I can load other instruments. It's in the edit. It's not as smart. I agree. They could have made it easier. Maybe they just want you to use their instruments. Okay, I agree. It's not that intuitive. We go to edit one more time. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. What if you want to use contact three? Bam, contact three. Double click here. Please don't fail me now. There we go. All right. So, real quick video. Nothing to it but to do it. If you have GarageBand, you can use Neo Soul Keys using Contact 4, newest version, or Contact 5, free player. You don't have to buy anything else other than Neo Soul Keys to use it with your GarageBand, all right?